everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to introduce to you today the Retail Barcode Labels app made by Shopify. Um, so what does it do? It's a really, really simple app, and what it does is it helps you create and print barcode labels for your product. So this is a barcode label. It's basically a sticker that has your product information. At minimum, it has your product barcode so you can easily scan it in and out when you get it in your inventory and when you ship it out okay this app is only doing one small part of the the you know the puzzle the piece of your business it's helping you create the barcode labels it's not helping you manage the inventory it's not helping you scan it in or out it's only doing that part it's a free app by shopify it works well and it's something you should really consider for even the, the smallest of the businesses of course and for large businesses for sure Okay, so what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to go, I'm going to walk you through, I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, of course, if you have in the comments questions, I'll be happy to answer as well. But I'll show you how simple it is. Okay, so first of all, you go to your app, your back end, this is just a sample store we have, you go to the app store, and you're going to go and type in retail barcode, and you're going to install it. Okay, so let's walk through it together. Retail barcode. And I'm going to go here, Shopify. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install it. Okay. Let me show you how it works. Pretty simple. There's just a few settings. You can go from there. But first of all, we need to install it. So let's click and install it. Okay. So the first thing you need to actually do is you, you need to set up a template. So of course you need to have a specific printer. You need to actually work. So I'm going to click here, get started. Okay. And what it's going to actually specify to print the barcode labels, you need to create barcodes. Okay. So what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to create the barcode. So every single, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, actually click on create barcode. So every single product you have needs to have a barcode. If it doesn't, we can create it. So the first thing we're, we want to do, when I clicked on create, it went to every single product that did not have a barcode. So let me show you in the back end. Every time you make a regular product or a variant, okay. So let's say for example, I create a new product right here and I scroll down to the bottom, there's my SKU, my unique number, and there's also the barcode. If it doesn't have any uh, information, you need to add it. You need to add your own barcode. For example, if you have a UPC, a universal uh, number that's recognized globally, or an ISBN, a certain uh, unique identifier for a book, etc., you need to put it here. If it's a product that is sold that is rec universally recognized, like a Nike shoe or you know an iPhone or something like that, you would have for the manufacturer, you would have this already here. If it's a custom product, you can make up your own or do others, or you can even register globally your product. That's a, a case for a different uh, video. If you don't, the, the this app can actually help you create your own. Okay, so let's actually go ahead. So um, let's go right here and let's go back to the app. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to actually create a template. So what is a template? It's just a type of sticker that you want to create. So for example, I want my sticker to look like this. Okay, now the nice thing is when you create your settings, you'll be able to see a preview of all the settings. So first of all, I want to call, use, I want to save one time. I, want, I need to create a template one time before I create my labels. Let's just call it my main and I want it to look like this, okay? So the nice thing you can do is you can also add and remove elements. So for example, if I want the product name, here there's price, barcode, I can add the product name right here, and I can also drag it. I can put it on the top, for example, okay? Great, so now that I finished it, let's say it's okay, I click on create template. If I have multiple, I can create more and more templates. I can cl click here, create more and more and more. Now. Uh, what we mentioned before is you can create barcodes for your products. If you have them by the manufacturer, by, by uh, you know, who you're buying from, you want to do them yourself either by going one by one in the products or using a spreadsheet or some kind of third-party system that creates them. If you don't have, you can actually create them for specific products or for all products. I'm going to click here, all products. And uh, for example, I can say here, only for products that do not have barcodes already or I can do it for all products, which I don't recommend ever doing this. But if you have a new site with no barcodes, you can use this feature. If not, you wanna click on this one, okay? This is again gonna add, automate its own barcodes only for the products that do not have barcodes, right? So I'm gonna click here and do that. Okay, great. Now, if you have a lot of, if you have a big catalog, it might take some time, but this is just a demo site, so it shouldn't be a problem. 
So now that I have every, everything right here, so now I have barcodes in my system. So if I edit every single product in the back end, there will be a barcode. Really, really simple. So now what do I want to do? I can go ahead and I can print it. So let's say I just have an inventory of a hundred of these products, this one right here. Okay. So I can go to this product manually. I can go here and I can actually click on print barcode labels. Okay. And then it'll take this product and I'll select from my template. If I have multiple templates, I can, you know, select and I'll select how many to print. Let's say I want 88 of these. Okay. And this is just uh, a recap. So it says you have to use Dymo printer. You have to use a certain paper size with a certain type of printer, uh, uh, excuse me, label. So these special paper that have certain label sizes based on, <clears throat> excuse me, the template I selected. So I click here on print. Okay. And I just got a pop-up blocker. Let's do that. Okay. When I do that, now I have a print preview. And if I have the correct paper, it'll go ahead and put it right here. Okay. Now, obviously I don't have the correct printer set up, so it's going to look a little funny. See here, all of the printers. Okay. Now let's go back right here. Okay. And let me actually create a better label so you can see something a little bit nicer. Okay. So let's create a template right here. Okay. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to call it template number two. Okay. And I'm going to use, let's say I want this one. Okay. And I want to remove, let's say I want to remove the product name. So I want to stay simple and I create a template. Okay. So I can go to the product again, click on the product, click on more actions and print the barcode labels. Okay. And I'm going to select 88 again. And I'm going to select my template, template number two. Okay. And I'm going to click on print. Okay. So if I selected a better template that fits better the paper, you can see if I have the right paper here, I can go ahead and I can easily print everything. Okay. Great. So what else can we do on this app? We can go here and, and what I showed you before is if you click on one product at a time, you can print a, a bulk amount of stickers for that product. But what, what happens if you actually want to print many labels, bulk amount of labels for different products? So you can go back to your app and go back to retail barcode labels and you can click here on print labels right here. Okay. And you can sel select multiple products. So for example, I'm going to select, let's say this and this and this and one more right here. And I'm going to click on add. Now I got to that same page as before and I can specify how many for each SKU. I want 55 of these. I want 20 of these. I want five of these. And you can print out in bulk. So here and let's say 44. So now you go here and now I can actually go ahead, select my template excuse me, right here. And I'm going to print the labels and it'll just print it again. So that's basically it. It's really, really simple. You'll see all the labels here. This is the 140, the $140 one. This is one SKU. You know, this is the $90 one, different SKUs, etc. So this is really, really simple. Very, very easy app. It works. It helps you print labels and that's it. Very, very simple. So the only thing I want to specify is uh, one more thing is you should have a, a you know a better printer fitting. You could use your own printer, but the best way to do it is use a Dymo printer. Now, in the link I'll specify in the description of the YouTube video, you can actually see the recommendations. These are the the type of printer you can use, and these are the type of stickers. So Avery stickers typically match, but when you set up your templates, everything will be mentioned here. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, hope this makes sense. If not, let me know. I'll answer as many questions as you have. We'll make more and more videos of more advanced things in the future. Really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you again for listening to this video.